Hey guys, welcome back to Sprocket. Today we are back and we are back with the Frantic Tank Company designs. Today we are going to be building something that is heavier than this thing right here. This is our light tank that was designed for the interwar period for the ambush map. Now we will be doing another light tank design because this one is ugly. Um, but yeah, we're gonna build another one for the dunes map and hopefully that looks pretty good Anyway, what we're gonna do today is build a medium tank, which is hopefully around 15 tons That's what we're gonna aim for anyway, uh, and it is gonna be quite a bit bigger than this one Anyway, let's go ahead and start building. Hopefully we can come up with something really cool All right, so let's go ahead and do this Bam! There we go. Nicely done. Let's go to freeform holes. Go to that. Excellent We'll get rid of the fender, like we always do, and we'll go to the tracks. Now, what I'm thinking is we go to suspension and we use two of these. Honestly, I'm gonna go with a similar design to the previous tank that you guys have just seen, with the big idler wheel, the big sprocket wheel, and this kind of uh, suspension in the center, just because I think it looks kind of cool. So that's why we're doing it. Anyway, if we can, let's go ahead and put some spacing in between these. Let's drop that guy backwards. That looks pretty good. We are going to scale this down as well if we can, so let's scale it down a little bit like this and hopefully we can have two of those in the center and that looks good, which it does, it does look pretty nice. Alright cool, so, tracks, we're going to go ahead and make the sprocket wheel a lot bigger, here we go, we're going to go to about a meter, that seems insane, but yes, we are going to do that, going to go ahead and lift these guys up, going to lift this up as well, and I guess I'm going to lift this up too and make that a meter as well. Okay, so diameter, one, Bosch, there we go, that's pretty insane, and honestly, it looks pretty good to me, that's cool. Good, I'm happy, I'm very happy. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is go to track segments, we're going to make it look like this. Uh, actually, no, we're going to leave them as these ones, which uh, is crazy. Actually, no, should we go with these ones still? I think we should still use this, yeah, bit weird, but I think that is the case, that is what we're going to do. Let's go and adjust these guys so they're on the inside of the tracks, and I'm actually going to lift this up a little bit. Just so we don't have any weird interactions with anything, I think lifting this up just makes sense. So there we go, good, this is our track setup. From there, we're actually going to go ahead and make them a lot skinnier. So the width of the tracks is going to go down to 350, there you go, which is a lot skinnier to be fair. We're going to go ahead and try and fit everything else within there as well. So the idler wheel, let's go with width of that, try and fit it in. Doesn't actually fit, so we'll just get rid of one. There we go. Width of that, bring it out to there, good. And then we're actually going to try and do the same with these guys. But that might be a little bit more tricky. <laughs> Maybe a little bit anyway, so if we can adjust these to go on the inside of the tracks, there we go. Honestly, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. We're going to go to road wheels, we're going to go to spacing, drop this back. I'm going to make the diameter of those a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger myself. Alright, cool. Good. I think I'm actually really happy with this. Okie dokie, guys. So from there, we're actually going to go to this because we need to move it upwards, I do believe. We're going to go to about there. I want it to stay similar to the previous tank in terms of going up and over the edge of the tracks. I don't know whether I'm going to do that, but we'll see. Actually, let's just do this. Okay, cool. So let's raise this guy upwards just a little bit. That's good. We're going to extend it downwards, actually quite a chunk, like this. I'm going to go ahead and drag this guy backwards. Uh, ooh, actually, no, bring all of this forwards a, a lot, actually. Let's bring it to there. We'll then actually drop this guy backwards. And I'm going to lower this down, which seems weird, but don't worry about it too much. So we're going to lower that down a little bit. We're then going to extend this guy backwards quite far. From there, we're going to extend this upwards, up and over the tracks. And to me, that looks awesome. Yeah, so this is where our driver's gonna go, which is fine. We're gonna go ahead and move the tracks inwards so that that looks a little bit better. And honestly, this looks cool. It's very long and not very wide, which isn't very good for a tank, really. But yeah, this is cool. All right, we're gonna go to the livery again. Let's go to this guy. We're gonna make this 30 and the other one 35, which I believe is how we've been doing it. Um, roughness, we're gonna go with quite rough. Metallic, yes. And condition, I don't know. Worse for wear? Let's go with that. 
That looks good. Oh, so far I'm actually liking this. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to angle this guy inwards quite far. Uh, I'm also going to actually angle this guy inwards a little bit too, but I'm going to lower it down a lot more, and that looks cool to me. Okay, so what do we do from here? Well, let's go ahead and figure this out. So, we're going to go to crew, we're going to go to viewports, and we're going to use one of these, which, you know, we usually do. So we're going to go and shove that directly into there like so. We're going to put the gunner on the other side, again, like we always do, seemingly. So we'll do this. Um, and yeah, we need to sort out the rest of it as well. I might actually put one of these guys here. Not something that I always do with these, but... Uh, as of recent, I, I do kind of like doing it. So we're going to angle this down slightly. I'm going to move it down slightly. And I might even make it a little bit wider. So let's do this. No, nope, I didn't mean to pick it up. And a little bit of this. There we go. So we'll have a hatch. Um, stowage thing on the front. Bit weird, but I think that's okay. Alright, so with uh, a bunch of these tanks that we've been making recently, I've been trying to make them kind of weird. Um, and the reason for that is because I think interwar tanks are kind of weird. A lot of them, they were just sort of experiments and just, I don't know, they, they were kind of odd. So, we're gonna do, well, we're gonna take that statement and we're gonna run with it. So I'm gonna split this right here. And we're going to extend this up at the back. Okay. Which is weird. <laughs> which is on purpose. I said it was going to be weird. It is definitely going to be weird. So we're going to extend these guys over the edges. I'm going to bring this bit inwards. I'm going to bring this bit backwards. And the engine is going to go in the middle. We're going to have a mid-engined interwar tank. There we go. Good. So far, so good. We weigh 8 tons currently. And that's fine. Yeah, alright, cool. Uh, the next thing that I actually want to do is select all of this, bring it upward slightly, and add a fender. Because fenders are going to be kind of useful here. So I have this, bring it up to pretty much there. We're going to make it this one again. I think we're going to use this one on pretty much all of our tanks. Which just makes sense, I suppose. We're going to go to the front piece, we're going to use this guy again. The width of this needs to come inwards quite a lot more. And we need to sort this out. So we're going to angle that like so. Cool. Yeah, what do you guys think of this situation? It's odd, which it's supposed to be. Um, which I think is cool. Honestly, I think that's really cool. I like it. Okay, so from there, let's go ahead and add some engine bits. We're going to go events, and we're going to shove them on here actually this way around. So I'm going to do that right there. I'm then going to try and flip this around the other way, and I'm going to put another one in the same place, I guess. But there, there we go, good. And I think that looks pretty nice. I also wouldn't mind adding some of these. So if we can, we're going to go ahead and add those there real quick. Going to go ahead and shove them underneath. You can't really see them, but that doesn't really matter. And we're going to shove them there as well. You can sort of see them, and that's all that kind of matters. As for the exhaust and stuff like that, uh, I think I'm going to go for these guys. And I'm going to try and sort it out so it looks nice. However, don't know how that's going to go. Don't mind... I don't know, I don't... I sort of don't mind this. It does look a bit strange, though. Um, so maybe we make it... Skinnier? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we do this. That's really too skinny, though, isn't it? It's too skinny if we do that. Let's raise it upwards a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this one. Does that look too odd? Nah, we're gonna keep it. We're keeping that. It looks really weird, but kind of cool. Alright, so I think what we're going to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of stuff to this thing and then I'll be back with you guys once it's done. Okay, so I think that is pretty good, uh, so we're going to leave it like that. 
Honestly, there might be a little bit of room back here for some extra stuff as well, so let's just go ahead and go to the turret. And we'll start building this in. Honestly, I think I do actually want a circular one on this one. So let's go ahead and push this one forwards to there. Push this one backwards to here. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make a rounded turret. So hopefully that'll look good. Okay, so I do think, even though it's very rounded, I think that looks interwari as heck. To be honest, I, I, I actually really like this. This is the kind of turret I wanted to add to the previous tank, but then I decided against it. But no, I feel like I should have. Anywho, uh, what we're going to do now is add a commander's cupola to this. It is going to be the same one that I've added to the rest of them, because there's no point in changing that up now. And we're actually going to go ahead and put a, an antenna on the back. There we go. And some stowages back here as well, just because uh, I think, honestly, it'll look a lot better with these. So we're going to put those guys right there. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and shove them on here, but they're going to be a lot wider and a lot more skinny. Uh, and actually, a little bit taller as well. There we go. We're going to go with that. That looks cool. So we're going to push this up. And we're going to push it in. And they're going to interlock right there like that. There you go. So... I think, honestly, this looks pretty good. We're going to add a bunch of rivets to the side of this just to make it look a little bit more into war -y, and then we're going to take it to war. Okay, so, uh, now that we've done that, we are going to go ahead and go to the cannon, and we're going to change this to be a nice one. So, unlike uh, before, we're actually going to go with a 47mm cannon, and this one actually has to be quite a boost. So we're going to go with 700mm on the propellant length, which means the actual gun length has to be increased as well to there. And honestly, that looks pretty good. We're going to have to put a gunner's sight on this as well, just so we can see. Um, so there we go, we're going to do this, and I'm going to move it off to the side. Because you guys hate it when I leave it in the middle. So we're going to put that there, and I guess we're going to increase the basket space so that we can actually have everybody in there. That's fine. Uh, other than that, we're going to select all of this. We're going to increase the armor thickness to like 25, and then we're actually going to go around the front end and change most of the front to be 40, I think. So we're going to go, oh, 60. There you go. So we weigh almost 16 tons. I think that counts as a medium tank, even in the interval period. I think, anyway. Um, it's hard to know. If you guys know what actually makes it a medium tank, let me know. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this here. That's going to add a bunch more weight. However, we are going to reduce our weight a little bit by removing a bunch of this. Uh, we're going to go with 50 liters in there, and now we have 15 tons. Okay, so this is our medium into our tank. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it, and we're going to take it into a battle. All right, so here we are, guys. We are in the interwar map, and we can barely move. We can actually barely move, and that is because I haven't changed the engine on this thing at all. Uh, we have a bunch of room in order to change the engine, so we're going to make this 2.5, and we're going to increase this to 8. So we now weigh 16.4 tons, but we should be able to move quite nicely. There we go. All right, I've already been shot. Stop shooting me, please. Let's see how good our gun is. Okay, yeah. No, I thought our gun was going to be quite good. It is one-shotting all of the enemies. <laughs> oh, amazing. That is how good I wanted this gun to be. Yes. So unlike the previous tank, with a really, really minimal gun, 
This one is doing fantastically well in as... I guess it's quite overpowered. It's a 47mm, which, you know, isn't really overpowered, but, um... Yeah, it can get through quite a lot of armor. So, let's go ahead and head down the road. We're gonna go ahead and fight the big boss guy now, and hopefully we don't die. Although, my guys are already firing at it, so... They might kill it before I do. Let's see. Let's get ourselves out there. And just keep firing, guys! Everybody fire! Nice. Alright, cool. Well, it's reversing out it. It's dead. <laughs> it died! That guy up on the hill just shot him and killed him. That is ridiculous. So, our interwar um, frantic tank company medium tank works quite well. It looks interwar-y. I'm actually really pleased with it. And it doesn't really look like a tank that I've seen before in real life, so I think I've done a pretty good job with that. Anyway, uh, for now, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on it down below, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Wait, wait, guys, I forgot. I've forgotten. Hold on, I need to put this on. Uh, yes, obviously we need the actual logo, otherwise, what is it? Exactly. Nothing. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. And put it there, we're then going to copy this, and we're going to put one on the front, like we always do. We're going to make this one smaller though. There we go, that's pretty cool. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, see you next time.